All right, so today we're headed to a cave on Mount St. Helens. It's a lava tube recently discovered. Um, people have only been in it in the last month and only 10 people so far. We are the next ones in after those 10. So the first 10 uh, were the, the people discovered it and then a mapping crew to make a map of it. All right, so I'm gonna try it. Everyone else is in there, they're not whole. So let's see how it goes. Stop laughing at this video. This cave is small and we are trying to squeeze through backwards. A lot of the things we might see in this cave, no one has seen before. It was actually found about 2015, so eight years ago, but it was just a little tiny hole and it was blowing cold air. But then last month, the guy who discovered it, Kim Looper, he took another guy and they were able to pry some rocks apart and get in and explore it. So this cave is 4,000 feet long. A lot of it's walking passage, has some really cool formations, lava drips, lava roses. We're headed out to check that out today. One other thing I can tell you that was kind of cool, a month ago when they went to open it up, uh, one of the guys was able to fit in, but the guy that actually discovered it, he couldn't fit. So the guy went in and looked around and he was like a half an hour and he still hadn't come out. And so the guy that discovered it, he was getting nervous and like trying to dig it open more because he thought maybe the guy got hurt. But eventually the guy came back out and told him it's a big cave, walking passage, cool formations. So anyways, we are really privileged to be able to go there today with the original discoverer and he's giving us a personal tour. So we're gonna take you along. So again, this is a lava tube on Mount St. Helens formed by a eruption a long time ago, not the, not the 1980 ash eruption. So, hope you enjoy. Or most of the time you don't have to worry about the ones that are silly, but there are a couple of low places where you could knock them off. So just look around because there's so much in this cave to see and enjoy. All right, first part of this cave is crawling. Easiest to go in backwards. You can see the rocks and dirt they pulled out. How is it going? Is it too little? No. Okay, so which way does it go? It goes right and then you have to turn left down. But when you say right, do you mean when I'm facing that way it goes right? Uh, no. When you're, you, you, have to, you have to go left and then you turn right. Okay. Made it to the walking passage. Really rough floor. Cool passage. It's like we've been climbing up a lava fall. Formations on the ceiling. Don't touch him, just look. I'd say they found a lizard.
A lot of roses, tree roots. Look at that little one built up. And it came from up there. Some cave creatures. Nice flat floor to walk on. So, we were coming up to this point, yep. and now we're going back down the other side? Well, back down again. This is kind of a side channel. This is actually not the main channel yet. So we're almost there. Yeah, the junction is quite decorated. Had a lot of sickle here about a foot long. Over here we have more hanging down. Dripped onto the side there. All the way down. So this cave was just entered a month ago for the first time. And only 10 people have been in it before us. Lots of stuff in here probably no one has even looked at. We just went up over a bump and now we're going down. Not very many caves do that. Nice big walking passage. Did you see it up above? Did you see those columns? Look, it's all the way up and down, all, all up and down the whole wall over there. Look at those big ones hanging from the ceiling. Like a foot and a half long. I'm just gonna take a video of it. That is really crazy. <laughs> So we're now in the main tube, going up. Wow, there's a lot of wind here. Super cool passage. Thick boulder glued to the ceiling. Super cool cave. So it's a rat? No, it's too big for a rat. 
and size-wise could be a rabbit or something. That's cool. Yeah, it's a long ways in here. Yeah. Just to... I don't know what else rodent-wise would have a head that big. Yeah. And it's not like a beaver or something. You probably don't need to go up there. What? You probably don't need to go up there. It's a really cool room. There's passage there, passage there, big pillar, and a passage there, which they just went down. I believe they all go to the same spot. Pretty big room here. Again. Oh. Wow, look at that, it goes way downhill. They went to the right. Fire Cave, admiring one of the formations. Word what? Lady of Fire Cave. So now we're going down some lava falls, climbing down, break down, going down like crazy. This cave goes up and down and up and down. Few different tubes. Really cool. It looks like it, yeah. That was a cool cave. Thank you, Kim. Yeah. All right, so we're out of the cave now, hiking back to the car. It's about a mile and a half hike. Some of it easy, some of it bushwhacking. This cave's pretty high on the side of the mountain, so really high elevation. It's October right now, so it's gonna be covered with snow 
in the next month or so. Really impressive cave. There was a lot of lava falls that we had to climb down and climb up. The cave kind of circled around and paralleled itself. There were places where it split into three parts, places where there were formations just all over the wall in this giant room. Lava drips hanging down, lava sickles stacked up on the bottom. It was just a really cool cave. It was pretty cold, cold air blowing through. But we had a lot of fun and are grateful for that opportunity. So hope you enjoyed. Let us know if you have any questions about what we saw. We'll see you on the next video.